Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Win New. So today I'm going to be doing a review video on the YSL Uptown Clutch. I wanted to do this review because I know that when I'm looking into investing in a luxury item, I will go on YouTube looking at every single review video there is on that item. So I remember when I bought this back in November, there weren't a lot of review videos on it. Now people are coming out with more review videos, so I figured I will just contribute to the community and do a little review on this beauty. This is, I think, was released last year and it's really popular I think because of its price point. So this retails for $475 at the moment. I actually bought mine for only $330. I bought it on selfishes.com so it shipped with a Saint Laurent box as well as the dust bag and that's what the dust bag looks like. It also came with the Saint Laurent cards and the Selfridges tag. So it does say $330 and the color for this is Latte Cream. So that's the designer color for this. I think that it's pretty spot on. It does remind me of a latte. I have to admit though, I was a little disappointed when I saw the color in person because I was imagining a lighter nude beige color, like the beige Claire color from Chanel, that light nudie color. I was imagining that and I don't know how it's gonna show up on camera right now, but in person it is more of a dark beige color dark latte like its name i am okay with it though because it does still give me the look that i want but online it did look a lot lighter so yeah i was a little disappointed but i'm not gonna complain because i got a pretty good deal on it i don't know why it was 330 dollars but a week after i bought it i checked back and the price went up to 475 dollars so i'm not gonna complain i don't know if it was like a new release or if they just messed up but I remember watching another girl's review video on it and she mentioned that she only got hers for around that price and she was also really surprised. So I don't know if it's because of just selfishes.com but everywhere now they are $475 which I still think is a pretty good deal for a clutch of this size because now you can't even get a small luxury wallet for $300. So this is a full on clutch so I'm really thankful that I'm able to grab this. I paid $330 plus $30 shipping so it was 360 out the door and on suffrages.com under a certain price point you don't have to pay for tax or duty so i did not pay a tax or duties on this clutch which is awesome so the measurements are 10 and a half by 6.2 it's a fairly slim clutch but you'll be surprised at how much can actually fit in here i'm going to show you guys a little bit later what i put in here and what it looks like so the textile is grande poudre it's their signature grainy cask and leather this is very durable so you can see that i'm scratching it and it's not doing anything to the leather. I like this leather from Saint Laurent because it is more durable. It's not going to be damaged as quickly as a smooth leather would. It kind of reminds me of caviar from Chanel, this type of like grainy leather. I bought this back in November and I've only worn it one time. I wish I can take it out more, but I really wanted to buy this for more of like spring and summer. I mean, this is a neutral color, so I can pretty much wear this all year round, but specifically I wanted to wear this in the spring and summertime, especially with a white outfit, like kind of what I am wearing right now. I think it looks kind of nice with a white outfit and any, I mean, again, this is a neutral color, so I can pretty much wear this all the time. I don't know if this color is available anymore, but if I am able to find it, I'll definitely link it below. I love that it's beige with gold hardware. I think beige looks best with gold hardware. I think with silver hardware it kind of clashes. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So I really like this color combination. But yeah, they have a lot of different colors and textile now. They have crocodile and boss leather now, which is gorgeous. Even though this is a durable type of leather, the clutch itself is supposed to be slim. So as you can see, the leather is pretty flexible. I'm able to bend it like this and it's not doing any harm to the leather at all. Ooh, another trick that I found out was that I can put a gold chain with this clutch and wear it like a shoulder bag. So I have this chain right here that I sometimes wear with my clutches. It's non-branded and it's a very thin, flat chain. I like this because it looks expensive. I feel like when it comes to bags, the chain really will tell you if it's luxury or if it's kind of like a cheaper bag. So I like that the chain is very thin and the color is almost pale gold color. It is a close match to it. It's not the exact match. So it looks like that. I think that it matches pretty well. It's not 100%, but I mean, you can't really tell. And you can get these on Etsy or Amazon. They're really affordable. I just loop it underneath the flap like this. Just like that. 
close it and then there you go you can wear it as a shoulder bag how cute if i wanted to wear it as a shorter shoulder bag then i can just double it up like this okay so this is what it looks like with the chain doubled up it's kind of cute actually but i don't think i would wear it like this i'm not sure i think i would have to you know see with an outfit but I like that you know, I'm able to do that with the chain. Um, but yeah, I think it's so cute. And I've actually been using this chain with a couple other of my bags. It's really handy. So this clutch opens with a magnetic closure like so. I wish that it was a metal clasp though, but for the price point, I understand why they went with a magnetic closure. It's not a big deal to me. So now I'm going to show you what fits inside this clutch. So I'm gonna put my phone first. I'm gonna put that right in the middle like this. So as you can see, there is an indentation of my cell phone. Same with the back. So it depends on you if it's gonna bother you or not. I don't really mind it. I don't put that much stuff. So it's usually just my cell phone, a couple of credit cards and lipstick and that's pretty much it. So it's not that terrible. So let me add in a couple other things. I have a lipstick. I'm just gonna put that on the side right here. Still pretty good it's still closing no problem there on the back I do see again that indentation from that lipstick now realistically I'm just gonna be putting in some cards so I have my wallet I'm just gonna grab a couple of gift cards and just pretend like that's my credit card my ID so I just have this Sephora gift card here this can be easy to just plot in so I'm just putting it right behind my cell phone really no difference there i might put in like a little perfume rollerball so I'll just put that in the other side so that's what that looks like not too noticeable and maybe hand sanitizer <laughs> i don't know i'm just gonna put a couple of random things in just just show you like what can actually fit so the hand sanitizer is sitting right on top of my cell phone it's not bulging out too much but this is what it looks like so far and the magnetic closure can close so i would say it's okay but it is a little bit thicker up here because of that hand sanitizer still not a big problem though let's try putting my keys in here it's a little bulky but we're gonna plop that in right over here okay like that and then that's what that looks like oops hand sanitizer is coming out okay so that's what that looks like it can still fit it can still close magnetic closure is I would say it can still close but you can tell that it is kind of bulging out a little bit I mean realistically I wouldn't be carrying like a bunch of keys and hand sanitizer I just be carrying some cards a lipstick and my phone so I don't want to overstuff this because I don't want to ruin the shape of this clutch so even though I have stuff in here this clutch is still very light I don't feel like I'm holding around a brick or something I can definitely hold it underneath like this hold it like this or even just like this and it feels very comfortable I feel like this is a steal I mean even at $475 per retail right now I still think it's a pretty good deal compared to other designer clutches out there I know that's still a lot of money but if you're comparing it to you know Louis Vuitton Chanel Gucci I feel like a clutch under $500 of this size is a pretty good deal oh I can even use it as a fan look at this multi-purpose all right, so that's gonna be the end of my review. I hope that it helps some of you out decide on what to buy. Overall, I think that this is a beautiful clutch and worth the price, so I highly recommend it. If you guys did find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I will just talk to you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.